We're not actually live. Now we're live. So we're live. We're live. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, people are probably no idea we're going to be on, but quick one, Dave. Uh, right. I'm annoyed, so <laughs> just for a couple minutes. Just Couldn't tell. Fucking banging my head against the wall. Yeah. Not your fault. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, show uh, items we want to clean up before we get out of here. Show so items. So Mike's here clean. tomorrow. Yep. Probably about 9, 9, 15. Yep. Uh, we don't know about Friday yet. Next week, two shows, right? Thanksgiving week? Correct. Okay. Yeah. I think both with Mike, as a matter of fact. Yes. Um, and then off uh, till that next week or whatever. And then I don't even know what the fuck's going on. I don't know what's going on. Yep. I had trivia last night, which started at 8.30. Oh, that's right. 8, 8, that. Oh, that's not good. 8.30? <laughs> that's not good. It's fucking unbelievable. I did wake up from a text last night. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. That was not. Yeah. That was sent very quickly after the the, the game, right? <laughs> Match. Yeah, I assume so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I don't give any. I think it's that. Do we know when that's going to be broadcast? Yeah. I don't know the exact. I felt like it was Thursday night, but I could. Be I think wrong. it is. Or is it tomorrow? Tomorrow, because there's two games, so I would match. It's probably tomorrow. Quick mm-hmm. turnaround for those guys. Good for them. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed like it was fine. Stu does not shut the fuck up. And as I texted, he makes Pat look like fucking uh, Ken Jennings. So I would just say that. <laughs> the other two guys, I, I remember El- Ilio, is that his name? Ilio, yep. Yeah, and... Um, uh, 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 you would like Ilio. I mean, he's... He was sick, I think. Yeah, I mean, he was lifeless. Oh, I've seen night. some of his videos, yeah. And uh, 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 who, was, who was on the other... Oh, what's his face? The the gambling guy. The black, the, the poker guy. Oh, Nate. Nate, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. He played very well. He's a good player. Um, it was a good, good competitive match. You matchup. would like Elio because he can give you a glimpse into the pizza business. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe at some point. He's sick. I don't really need him in my no, life right no, now. No. <clears throat> but yeah, that was fun. Uh, I mean, you know, as much fun as it can be a fucking, it was so late. I could not believe, I, I know I'm old, but. Was it delayed for a reason? No, I think I, I just got the time wrong. It was oh. an eight, it was an 830 start. Yeah. Um, so we did that. Uh, uh, and I think those guys are excited about for two weeks from. Uh, today jesus right no yeah the 29th that's right two weeks from today so yeah. it won't be do we have a we have any we have so we have nothing firm about that yet well i mean they i told the guy that we will definitely be there from four thirty to 7 okay that's so our window. Gotcha. people can start gotcha. congregating and then how whatever you want to do the show is available to you at that point so okay yeah okay that's fine um I, get, yeah, I just imagine we'll just have a bunch of bars so people coming in and out. And then yeah. We'll go, and everyone will be there, and then we'll go in the Sounds show. Sounds like Mike will not be there. I don't think he wants to go. No. Which, of course, he doesn't. I mean, he doesn't have to. Yeah. If he doesn't want to go, why would he go? I think it's an uncomfortable spot for him, too, probably, I would think. Why? With Dave? Just in general, live. I don't think he likes the live stuff. Yeah. No? He said that in the past. So. I felt like he was getting better with it. I felt like he was enjoying it a little bit more, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I get it, though. There's going to be... We're just going to be blowing, you know, people are going to be blowing in and out of there all fucking. You know. He, uh, on the drive home, he corrected. Uh, he said he was not sensitive. It was oh. more that he just hates callers like that, which I, I kind of understand. No, he's, he's sensitive. No, that guy had he's no just, he, humor Mike's, attached Mike's, to Mike's him sensitive, though. He's sensitive. Uh, I believe Mike in this situation. I, I believe yeah. him too, but he's yeah. got a sensitive. He does that thing where he does like the, what do you mean? Yeah. He's like, oh, this is funny. That thing. It's like, well, all right. <laughs> we all have him. I have him. But I'm just saying, like, you, you got to acknowledge it. I can be sensitive sometimes. Yeah. Um, but the fact that he corrected it is would suggest to me that he's sensitive, no? No, I think he was just pointing out that, you know, when he used to listen to radio, people who, you know, had no humor attached to their shit, just he never enjoyed. They can do it all day. He just never enjoyed it. That's all. I suppose, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Did you tweet out the number, Dave? No, nope, you didn't. didn't. No, did you tweet out the number? Yeah, we'll take a few calls. Right. We'll tweet out the number. We'll see. I, I, we'll see what's going on. I don't know. I need a break. Fucking done. I do wonder if Jerry wanted Big Cat's agent because he knew that Big Cat was going to steal his coffee idea, <laughs> which could, is a clear... It could be it. That's a clear theft. <laughs> I'm getting some of that shipped to me, I think, courtesy of... Because of Kirk Minahan. We were texting this morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I appreciate that. I like to see Barstool get behind that on social media, maybe. Yeah. Maybe retweeted a couple or sent some tweets out about it. But geez, nice. I'm not yeah. seeing a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, my buddy Dan Katz is... In the, I'm, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I'm, I would go with Big Cat's... What is it? Uh, Stella's what? Stella, let me look up the name. Where is he? So he's got a dog named Stella too? I just yes. didn't know that. Stella yeah. Blue Coffee. 
Stella Blue Coffee. And there's a new bar still way last couple of years. Communism in every cup, I would say. <laughs> I think. Is it good shit? Gourmet, what did you say? Gourmet shit? Gourmet shit. Was that ever kicked around when you were there? Was there any coffee? No, but I was, always, I was always pro sell direct to the consumer versus advertising. DTC, as they say yes. on Shark Tank. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was always Cut pro. the middleman out. I am very, Lori, I, I, Lori annoys me, but I like appreciate her business. Yes. The QVC of it all. Yes. Just one-on-one. I love that done. shit. Done. I love it. How many, in the last 30 days, how much Callahan coffee do you think has been sold? Uh, does he have subscription plans though? Come on. I don't think so, does he? No, no. I probably. If there isn't any, how many would you Five say? bags max. <laughs> you think in the last 30 days? Yeah, really? Yeah. Wow, Jesus. Yeah. Who am I to say, though? It's a fucking week before Black Friday. And you're sending out, you're se- asking me ideas for t shirts. Well, you know, you got to approve them. Which, by the way, I came up with some good ones. You did. Just like Definitely that. Did. Definitely did. Yep. Better than the terrible one I saw and the one you killed Harrison for. You said stunk. Well, I just said I didn't like the text. Yeah. Well, that's all you said. You said the shirts, the other shirt's not working for you, is what you said. Oh, not working for me. Yeah. Well, that's what you said. Yeah, I can't remember which, which shirt was. Oh, I don't, don't want to give it away. Yeah. Why? Yeah. We're not going to use it. Yeah. But we're using bits and pieces oh, to some extent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, yeah, we don't give away that excitement. Your <laughs> t-shirt's going to fly off the shelves. Yeah. I don't know why Barcelona doesn't realize. You're, you're a live events guy. You're a live events guy. Merch doesn't... Oh, we can do merch, but yeah. it doesn't... I, don't, I, I actually like these. I think these are pretty good, but yeah. they don't generally arouse any passion for yeah. the, the, the merchandise part of it. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of shows do well with it at Barstool, but I'm not a big fan. I, I don't know. I've never really... I was ever a person like I never had like a Howard Stern shirt or anything like that. No, but you didn't really sell them either. I don't think. Yeah. So I don't know. All right. Want to take a few calls? We can take some calls. Right, we'll, take, just, we'll, uh, take, we'll take a few. We would need them to. Oh, there we go. You refresh this. Yeah, this thing's hokey lately. Gotta refresh it, Dave. This thing's hokey lately. All right, let's go. One or two. That's it. I, I just I can't. I can't do it. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Kirky. Uh, the one, the only here. Uh, I've given you a few days to catch up on the Joe Rogan podcast with uh, Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm embarrassed to say I have no idea who those people are other than Joe Rogan. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. Why would you? Uh, Dave? Yes? Oh, okay. Okay. Good start. Good yeah. start. Perfect. It's going to boost your mood. The voice you always wanted to hear. Yep. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I want to bring it up. You know what show I've been watching is, is uh, the good show ER. ER was a good show. It was a good show until it was a good show until it wasn't. You know. <laughs> that he hung up. <laughs> I guess he's gone. He was there, and he just. Oh man, it was a good say. show. Yeah, I liked <laughs> ER for the first couple of years. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gone back to rewatch a show and thought it kind of like fit with the times. Unfortunately, like Dude. I tried to start Sopranos. Last year, and I just couldn't do it. Really, that yeah. far out? Really? Yeah. yeah. And that's not that crazy. Like, e- e- when was ER in comparison? ER to the was about probably to be about five years before The Sopranos. Yeah. Four or five. So years. That's like yeah. 94, that should be a significant. Maybe? Yeah. I couldn't do it. Like I tried The West Wing, couldn't do it. No, West Wing was ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, it's just different. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Kurt, should we be surprised about Dave's lack of knowledge about his grandparents? Didn't he not know their actual names? Is that true? No, I don't think that's true. You know the first, was that? You know the first name of all four of your grandparents? Uh, yes. Okay. So there you go, caller. Yeah. You want to apologize to him? Yeah. When did I say that? Oh, pro- play it. Prove it. Play it. Oh, I, oh, I, 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 you're going to give names? I think, I give, I think I've given up enough personal information. I think I have. What? What do you mean? You, you don't want to say their first names? I I, but if I, but then I said their last name. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. 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 I do know them, though. I'm not bullshitting you. I will say it I probably I, would have been smarter me to go check the obituary. I'll give you this call. I'll give you this one. I don't know my grandparents' birthdays. I don't think. <laughs> Ridiculous. Well, I'm just saying. What? What? Why would you know your? Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah, there's something I don't know. You know, and I'm at their. I'm at my. Well, you know my, their names. I know their names. I certainly know their names. I know whether or not they served in the military. I know what they did vocationally. Um, you know, I know a lot about them. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't enough. like this. I don't, like. I, I actually, this is a thing that does annoy me. 
Well, it's, like it's, I think it's, I'm being treated. I'm being like branded as all. I'm an asshole when I'm being. No, it's, I'm it's being ba- open it's, and honest. It's bad. That, it's bad oh, that you, you know. You, yeah, I'm not it's, an it's asshole. Bad, it's bad. I, that you, it's bad you know what the. I am is. there that's, for my family. That's, that's what that's matters bad. to me. That's bad. That's Why bad. is that bad? Like you people who know the fucking dates. What if you're not there when it matters? Oh, great. You know their fucking. I was birthday, definitely there. You don't show up. Definitely when they matter. You're a great guy, but how about other people? How about other people? No, but you should know just out of curiosity. It means nothing. It means nothing. It doesn't make you a bad person. If your grandfather served in the military, that's fine i'm an asshole for not knowing that for that's not being inquisitive talking about. no but people are making me an asshole that i don't know the birthday of my parents or shit like that, that that's bad nothing. that makes you an asshole that does not that make you, you an you asshole you should know your mom's birthday i have that you never should not know your been mom's there birthday. for them i've never not been you know your kid's birthday yes i do are you sure yes and luckily but i do have to look it up quite often actually. i call bullshit yeah, i don't so, think you do i do either. i do what's chase's birthday uh chase is oh Dave. Eight, hold on hold on yeah 827 yeah 827 yeah august 27 but that's like that's hard for, I don't know why I don't remember these things, but that's an honest thing. I'm mm. being honest with you. I have no memory. It's not me being an asshole. Okay. Well, not knowing what the military is a, a well, choice. Well, you your grandmother has the But he w- I told you I didn't really have like a, a relationship point, and your your point was that I should have asked my parents about well, it. Well, just curious. I, I was always curious. I I've more I think maybe I'm, I'm more curious than you are about stuff like that. Definitely more curious about stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, I would I would be interested in Yeah, well, okay. I mean, I, I'm interested in your We talked about wrestling a lot. You loved wrestling for Your some reason. Your grandfather. Yes. Love the watching World Wrestling, wrestling Federation. Me. Yes. What do you like? <laughs> well, he, I think he liked that I like, like kind of that relationship you have with Harry. Like he would he was write you letters be, as Andre the Giant? He was not the ultimate warrior, unfortunately. Okay. That would have been a win. But he was Indiana Jones. He was definitely Indiana Jones. But he never wrote you a letter as like... Uh, no, he never took me to a wrestling event either. Okay. Never, yeah, never yeah. as like the Honky Tonk Man or something. No, okay. No, that's no, too bad. No. No. Hello. Hey, Kirk. <clears throat> yes. Kirk, I'm one of those those weird fans who goes back and listens to old episodes. Okay, I and appreciate I think it. That's weird, but no, it's fine. Thank yeah. You. Um, so back in April of 2020, you got a call from a guy who made a comment about your wife not wanting to be part of the show, uh-huh. and then he crossed the line uh-huh. and made a comment and asked why your mother and father were not part of the show, and you took offense to that. Why, 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 my, why, why, my, why my mother? Why my mother and father are part of the show? What? Correct. He, that, he was being a dick, and he said, "Oh, oh your wife you. doesn't like to be part of the show." I got you. And you said, "Yes, she doesn't." Blah 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 blah. And then he right. says, "How come your parents don't want to be?" Part I got of the you. Show? Yeah, yeah. So then you told him that you were going to take a shit in his dead mother's casket. I did do. I, I did do that. Do you remember that? Yeah, I did do that. I I did take a shit. In you know, do you know who that? I did a little investigation, just pure, pure, purely on voice and phone number that Steve uh, shouted out. Do you know who that person was? I don't. I have no idea. Steve Snell. No. No. Is that true? Oh yes. I will send Dave. I'll, send I'll it. Send Dave. Send it. Audio. Send Dave the audio. Three three nine. I'm assuming three three nine is Rhode Island, Fred. I don't believe it is. Uh, look it up right now. Oh yeah, you might be right. I don't know. But the voice is very, the voice, well, it says Boston for some reason. The Google voice it. is distinct. Yeah, and the voice, it's he has got a distinct voice. That's interesting. 339 is a Boston area code call. Yeah. I'm going to send it to Dave and you guys do the job. Hey, it's still possible. Sure, let's yeah. The, let's well, hear yeah, the audio. Well, yeah, thank yep. you very much. Yep. It's good, good investigative invest- yeah, work. Good yeah, work. Thank good you work. for that. Steve Snow has basically left the universe. Very welcome. To some extent. He'll text me every now and then. And do that dumb wrap-up show. He's giving up like they all do. Yeah. You know, once the, once, the, once, the, once the clouds go over and the sun moves away, they just kind of. You know, he's yeah. trying to take down my family. Good for him. <laughs> Hello. Dave, Triple H here and Kirk. Um, What's that? So I, Triple going H. Back it's to- time to play the game, <laughs> Dave. It sure is. This is the guy in going charge, Dave. He's got, the, he's got the keys of the kingdom, this yeah, guy. Yeah, he's got the whole thing right I, now. I think he's doing a good job from what it looks is like. Is that right? I appear so. My man Paul Le- right. Levesque. Le- Levesque, I believe, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. He Hunter, really fucked China? Like, that, really, that was really a thing? Yeah, he left China for Stephanie, right? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Go ahead. I cannot. I cannot confirm. Triple H. You know what? You know. You know. Uh, you know. You know what? In terms of us talking, you know what? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So on Sunday's episode, you, you guys spoke about the ATM. Well, I also oh used yeah on a diner with an ATM machine. Dave, you got you got a tip we on this as well, right? I, did, I got many tips on this. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. We get a percentage back. Well, how much? Uh, like if they charge you two fifty, I believe we got like seventy five cents. 
I could be wrong, but it was similar. It was around there. Okay, that's 70, not bad, right? So, for how much? For two fifty? Seventy five cents. They charge like the customer two fifty. We'd get like fifty to seventy five cents back. And if the if they if you make a counter offer to them, that company, right? And they're not down with that. Do you have two words for them? They can fucking suck it. There you go. Thank you, Triple H. Beautiful. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, you, you got a. Uh, I know Triple H owned a diner in yeah. Massachusetts. Who knew that? So you're saying you yeah because I was we were working on the case yesterday. You said you got a tip from so you got a bunch of them. Yeah, I got a bunch of people. Just that, but, right? but every seventy five like, cents for they get to, seventy five cents for every two fifty. Oh, pretty, the two fifty hit. Yes. Yeah. That's I mean why not? Yeah. If you're the ATM place. And I think every every company's kind of different. I don't know if it's like a salesy thing or if they just have like different packages you can do. Right. Right. Are we at the point now? By the way, because I'm just looking on Twitter what this guy is tweeting about his uh, about his co-host on this burn barrel. Is Shattuck essentially going to turn this? Like, are there going to be guys just going in and just nailing Alice Shattuck? And, it could be. And Shattuck's going to film it. I mean, how, we're, that's it, what they're into. What's the big well, deal? I mean, no, I know, but like at this point, he is essentially doing that. I right mean, that is her. a favor to her, isn't it? I mean, think of what that's she has true. to work with. That's a good point. It seems like she wants Bly Mike. Yes, we can make that happen. I, I think. Know. I think so. Maybe a burn barrel exclusive, or maybe a Patreon. I think there was a little bit of a war. I mean, there's the poll had thousands of votes. I'm sure, but uh -huh. the beard of Kirk Minahan and the beard of Michael Geary, mm -hmm. and you won obviously, but your fans just like to suck you off. Mike's got sure. a pretty good beard. Mike's got a great beard. Yeah, he's got a great beard. Yeah, but yeah, you look yeah. good with a beard too. I don't know why you don't own that. I, it gets itchy. I don't really. I, even now, uh, I have a little bit of. But it gets. It's going to be gone soon. Oh, okay. And I have a new shower mirror. Oh. So I'm excited you replaced, about shaving. You replaced it, it, yeah, huh? I yep. broke it. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited broke about it. Yeah. How does that happen? Uh, it just happens. Yeah. You get frustrated with stuff. Got and, it. And just, Got just, it. just life. Like days like today, basically. <laughs> Today's fine. I have yeah. no problem with today. No, we're, yeah. we're, we're chipping away. This is life. This is how it works. It's, it's. You got to move. It's not. This is how it works. You don't yeah. go. You got to move that rock over and over. Oh, and I over. know what I was going to say the other day. Uh huh. It's, it's a, it's a similar thing to what Steve suggested to you that the FTX thing is a good case type of podcast yeah, this is just a case to me are you no 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 but i was just saying like leah remini with her whole thing about that fucking guy yeah, that's know. actually pretty interesting it's great yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah is anybody doing anything on that i'm just wondering well she did it she did a whole series about it right yeah well we talked about leo yeah book leah remini i told you to do this i don't remember her yeah i remember she did some kind of series you're talking about miss kavich and his the wife, wife the shelly miss kavich yeah yeah it's very interesting i just read a book by her co-host uh remini's co-host in the podcast series of uh Scientology guy. Oh, okay. Yep. Six books to go. Hello. Kirk, it's Peggy Lawton. Peggy, I haven't, I've not uh, had you inside me in over a year. I know. I miss you, my little sugar cookie. Oh, thank you, Peggy. It's nice of you to say. You sound, you sound lovely. <laughs> I, just, I just want to make sure you're not cheating on me with that who or Mrs. Fields. No, I would never. With Debbie Fields, I would never do that, Peggy. Never, 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 never. Although, Peggy, I'll tell you this. I was running this morning, as a matter of fact, Dave, this morning in Lexington, and I cut across uh, past the stop and shop and back to the trail, and there was an actual Peggy Lawton's delivery. Well, you know this, Peggy. A, cook, a delivery cookie thing right there in the uh, parking lot. Right there. With all the pictures of the different. Jeff D. Lowe sent me a picture of... Uh, a Peggy Lawton cookie mm. the other day. Can I ask Peggy a question? Sure, this shows my lack of interest sure, in ahead. following up with things. I drive by a Peggy truck every day. I actually think I drive by where they the headquarters. Like, make. It, is the headquarters in Walpole, Massachusetts? I believe it's in uh, South Shore. Is it, Peggy, do you I, know I this information? In Walpole. I didn't know that they actually make the... Walpole. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Peggy, you sound wonderful. <laughs> it's been a hard life. I was going to tell you a story about Mrs. Fields. Go ahead. Yeah, I'd be curious to hear about. It. I'm, a, I'm a big. Are you a big Mrs. Fields guy, then? No. Go ahead. Burlington Mall. I don't yeah. eat. I don't eat true cookies. You can buy. True by what? By, I don't eat cookies. You can cookie buy pass. like that. Not but you would eat Mrs. Fields. Uh, you would eat uh, Peggy Lawton, though. No. You would not. You're talking. You wouldn't eat Peggy. Is no. I don't, eat, I don't eat like cookies like that. Hey, you call me when I eat you. How do you feel no. about that? I mean, I'm a little, I'm a little dry, but we get it. We get the no, job done. No, Peggy, no, we're not talking. So it's, with you, Peggy, yeah, it's a always, whole different story. Go ahead. Yes, yeah. you, have a, you have an important story to tell us about Mrs. Fields. I just want to make sure you weren't cheating on me because she's a whore. Cookie Fest, 1979, Minneapolis. Oh yeah, I've she heard got this. she got double stuff. She got double oh, stuff no. by Famous Amos and Otis Funkmeyer. <laughs> I can see that. She's a whore. I can see. We got we we got, we got it, Peggy. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Jeff D. Lowe was having the butter crunch the other day. Oh yeah, got it. Hello. Yeah, I don't buy that stuff. That's not for me. 
Good morning, fellas. How are we today? Excellent. Glad to hear. Um, Kirk, just to, uh, I don't mean to just talk to Dave, but I'd like to ask him uh, a a couple questions that uh, some folks have um, previously gotten wrong on your show. Um, Not you, of course, you're perfect. But um, Dave, can you tell me the meaning uh, of the acronym VFW? Uh, Veterans Foreign Wars. Okay. Can you tell me the meaning of the acronym FDR? F, uh, Frederick. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the Ro- Roosevelt? What's the, what's the D? <laughs> what Shit. are you laughing at? He's one, one for one Hold so on. far. What's the D? What's the D? Um, uh, I can't remember the Delano. Delano. I could make a D. Delano, Delano, but I, Del- want Del- Del- I think I was like, it's not like Delano. It's are Delano. You, right? Are you more surprised? Are you more surprised that he knew Delano or that he said Frederick instead of Franklin? Which one surprises you more? <laughs> Is it Frank? Oh, it is. Frank. Right, uh, Frederick. You know what? Frederick, I'm close. Quite I'm close. I would have never guessed you would no have got Delano if my. So I, that's you, where you could have. <laughs> some, you're, you're fucking astonishing. You could sit me here. It, I would have bet a trillion dollars you wouldn't have got that. That's where my mind, though, goes like I get all haywire because I think, is, is it Delano? Like I get all fucked up. You know why? I, I've done this too. I swear to God. I'm not kidding. You know why? You know why you think Delanor? Because his wife's name is Eleanor. I used to think that as a no, kid. I know, yes, yeah, probably. I, I would think the same thing. But then my mind gets all fucked up, and I'll fuck up other things. Yeah, but so Frederick? L- I, last just last one, last yeah. one, Dave. Last one for you. Uh, what does the uh, pharmacy CVS stand for? Oh, that's like, that's actually on. a tough one, though. CVS. Come on. Um, Dave, I'm, so, I'm just, I'm just happy to go like, one, to be quite it's honest. It's not going to be convenience. So if you, right? if you like, get like CVS a, wrong, I'm very happy. No, it's not convenience. I mean, it's got to be something pharmacy related, right? No, no. It, but this, I, I gotta say, this is a tough one. I because I, I, oh, I'm, I'm curious now. So the, actually, the V is what? What do you think? What do you think the S is? We can go backwards. Store. What, yes, store. V. V. I think reasonable pricing, Dave. Reasonable pricing. In baseball, they every year in other sports they award the most what player? Valuable. Yeah. So value. Oh, value store. As a kid, I would have thought convenience value store. Ca- ca- consumer, I consumer, consumer, right? Oh, no? that name sucks. Yes, yes, consumer. Oh, smart. All right, boys, have a good day. Yeah. Thank oh. you. I always thought when I was a kid, I thought CVS was um, something vitamin store because I figured it was like a mm. pharmacy. Yeah, I, I, I would have like, thought it'd been something pharmacy related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Conven- I think it was. I would have said convenient vitamin <laughs> store as a kid. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, yep. Though it's not really a convenience store; it's like an elevated convenience store. Right? Yeah, I'm not sure what CVS is anymore. I don't quite. When I get in there now, I get a little uh, haywire. I don't know what's. I don't, I don't like that. Like CVS isn't what I thought it was growing up, which was basically just like a, you go get your medicine there, and then it has some other things. Now it feels like it's just like a mini Target. Yeah, right? is I, that fair? No, I think it's right. But the, the, like the one you probably have, there's in Belmont Center, they have a brand new one. Yep. And that's what it's like. It's like a weird. I don't. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't, it's too much. It's like I don't get what's going on. I don't yeah. know. Lexia Center is a different pharmacy, like a local pharmacy, yep. which I am more of a fan of. Hello. And CVS doesn't have magazine rent. Most of them don't magazine stands anymore. No, those are all gone. They're all, bu- and they're only like at the pharmacy. The, right. The yeah. US or, or the very, the Us Weekly. Us Weekly. Yeah. See, I say things like that and then I get all rattled. I know it's Us Weekly. Wait, but you said US Weekly. I know, but then, yeah, go ahead. Hello. Good morning. It's Fred Roosevelt. How are you? Hi, Freddie. How are you doing? Hello. Uh, Fantastic. So uh, to go back to a couple callers, the reason I called in, he's talking about Kirk asked you about John being a family name because I think that's your middle name. Maybe it is. You were like, I don't know. I don't know my grandparents name. Also, you don't know your grandparents names and birthdays and stuff like that. But you want us you say your memory is bad. Well, we're supposed to believe that you saw your Spanish teacher's hatchet wound. Well, some things you some uh, things you remember. All the detail and clarity. Don't you think that that's like that numerical or just numerical? Like, no, but I'm just saying like this historical things that you read. Basically, what be numerical about her see. vagina? No, no, no. I'm saying uh-huh. my memory tends to fade from things like that, like dates, historical shit. Actually, experiencing where does Us things, Weekly come into that? U.S. Us Weekly, <laughs> it just be random, yeah, stupid. Okay. But experiencing things like that, certain things you remember, sure. whether I like it or not. I mean, well, many people don't. Many, many people, you know, store it to the back of their head. There you go. It's there. I don't like it. Yeah. It's there. Mm, okay, thanks, caller. Well, your your phone stinks. It's like Hello. the first bush I ever saw. So is that true? That's not true. Uh, 
How is she in terms of a potential Friday guest? Are we getting closer to that or no? <laughs> no, I would never. No. Would, how old do you think she is now? Too traumatizing. I think she was like early 40s when this happened maybe or maybe mid She's in her 40s. 60s then. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Dave, I just really can't get over you not knowing if your grandfather served in the military. Uh, people are, I'm telling you, Dave, you, one second call. You, I'll give you plenty of time. I think you're, I, I think where you're wrong on this one is not appreciating why this touches a certain, like there are people whose moms and da- dads and <clears throat> uncles served in the military and died. I think some of these people really take So because personally. I don't know, you don't think I, I'm just I telling don't you, appreciate I'm just, I'm just the sacrifices you, of others when I just wasn't. I'm just telling you, it, it touches a particular nerve with people, not with me, but with people, it touches a particular That's nerve. That's fine, but I, it doesn't make, like if I don't view. I mean, I, honestly, I think you should probably apologize. I apologize to everybody. It doesn't feel offended it doesn't by feel that. <laughs> because it's not. <laughs> I mean, it I appreciate their service. If you tell me your grandfather served, I appreciate. I, I appreciate you, my though. grandfather's service. But your your argument your argument was really. like my, my grandfather wasn't an asshole who came up to me and told me he served in the military. Well, no, of course I, he wouldn't I was do being that. Sarcastic. I just mean we well, never I really talked your message, about it. It never really came up. It was not shit hanging on the walls or anything like that. And then the relationship completely shit hanging on the walls. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Like medals for for valor, yes, service, anything, anything. And risking his life so you can fucking. Wander around and get your pizza yes, and your forty dollar fucking spaghetti. Up, and we didn't have really like a relationship when my inquisitive mind would have gone there. What That's all. The, do you have any of the Indiana Jones letters? I think my mom still has them. You have to. You got to bring one in. Okay. You got to bring one in. I'll check. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, caller. Yeah. Oh shit. Hung up on him. Sorry. Jesus, you hang up on these people like nobody's business. I've been keeping them longer after you tweeted that thing the other day. Hello. Hey guys. Uh, trivia question, Kirk. Sure. One second. Yeah, yeah. So one moment. I'm looking at the picture of us from uh, Milton's at the, uh, what is it? One eight hundred. No, what's the painting company? Oh, Paint Your Life. Paint Your Life. I, I, I forget that Justin was even part of the show sometimes. Oh, stop. I know it's bad. It's yeah. like, well, like you. Are you criticizing when I forget things? Yeah. Well, no, you're just being an asshole. Like, you know he's a part of the show. You remember moments of the show. But I you would, also move on pretty quickly. Like Chris Benoit, I kind of want him removed from... No. All I think we have to scrub that him is, out. He has he he left Remember for years. Like the W, I think they're allowed to do this now because when Harry and I watch older stuff, which you don't, he's kind of fading away from it. But for years they couldn't say WWF, mm-hmm. but I think they can now. They got that back, like an old because what you call it, the World Wild Wildlife Foundation. Remember they won the yes. lawsuit. Yep. I kind of want Justin scrubbed from all. <laughs> I'm do considering not. doing the hiring somebody to do that. You do not. I just think it's best for everyone. No, it's not. Yeah, good caller. Quick trivia. Okay, uh, there in the history of the Boston Red Sox, oh uh-huh, yeah, okay. three players yeah, yeah. that have grew up in Massachusetts. Who are they? I think there's more than that, probably, right? <laughs> or no, three or two? I, you know what? I only know three. So that's oh, okay. The correct answer. Uh, so uh, I, I don't know. Okay. That seems to be what everyone's <laughs> doing. So. Okay. Well, yeah. Thanks for the call. Yeah, I, to go, I, know, I, I keep people tweet new ones to me like every fucking couple of hours. <laughs> yeah. It's like seven thousand town names. <laughs> and somebody said that Michael Olua Candy played for the Celtics. Oh, I did see that tweet. Who yes. was the first overall pick in the draft? So yes. I don't know. Have you seen? I know you're not a big basketball fan. Have you seen this kid that's going to be the first pick? Nope. This foreign player is like seven five and can shoot from like thirty feet. He's no. fucking crazy. He's unbelievable. Unbelievable. He's like that kid in that Adam Sandler movie, basically. A terrible Am Sandler movie that yeah. just came out. Did you watch any of that? Uncut Gems? Oh, no, oh. no, no. Hustle. I thought it was Hustle. Oh, wait. That is it, right? That yes. is Hustle. Yeah, the basketball movie. Uncut Gems, yeah. he's, a, he's Kevin Garnett's in that. I think it's Uncut Gems I'm thinking about. Isn't it? Which is one of the... Oh, okay. No, it's the terrible one. Yeah. Never mind. Uncut on. Gems is excellent. Yeah. Um, sure. I don't remember. Hello. Go ahead. Hello. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, how do you drive uh, home? Dan like, Dan Wolf, two quick things. What do you say? I said it's Dan and Wolfbar. Dan and Wolfbar. Hey, Danny. How you doing, buddy? Nice warm day in Wolfbar. <laughs> What's up, Ben? Yes, perfect. Um, don't you kind of feel like the tides are turning on Cullinane right now? Like, yeah. This whole not knowing his grandfather's a veteran thing is like, and he keeps saying his fucking memory. If I hear the that walls are closing. Time, I, don't, I, feel, all, I, I actually don't, don't. I don't keep saying it. Feel, like, it, Jesus, feels, it, it feels script. like the walls are closing on him a little bit. Yeah, I think he's very stressed out about the case. Thank you. I, I think I think I think it's starting to. I feel like the world's collapsing on you right Wait, now. Wait, about what? Why Just does that in general, I, I feel do. like these things are your memories starting to fall apart. I'm worried. My memory is always bad. What do you want from me? And this guy doesn't want me to say it because I guess it doesn't. It doesn't fit whatever he's going for here. Go ahead, Dan. Uh, Jesus, take I'm it not easy. Some guy. Why? Okay, Dave. Yeah, he's not some guy. He's well, Dan he's Wolfborough. Some, some guy. Hmm? He's putting money uh, in your pocket. Lastly, Kirk, I hope I articulate this well, but I'm curious. Someone who, who like yourself, who wrote movies and. Who's a writer? Screenplays. When you watch movies, like 
isn't it really easy for you to kind of like detect the, the the plot or like figure out what's going to happen? Like, no, well, <laughs> well, so I think I think, I think like most I think like most people probably sometimes, but you do have those wonderful moments of surprise when you see a movie. A movie's still capable of doing that. I, I gotta say though. Like, I have not loved, like, loved, like, this is a movie that's going to be in my being for the rest of my life in years. Like, a core top 10, top 12 movie. I need that in my life. What are you waving your arms at? Nothing. You, what, 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 you dismissing the statement? No, I think I just was going like this. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Why do you have to look at me when I'm back Dave, here Dave doing nothing? forgetting about his grandfather's <laughs> valor. No big deal. Jesus Christ. All right. Thank you very much. Spare me. Unbelievable. Well, because you wrote, like, isn't it hard to watch movies because you know the ending of the movie? Like, well, Dave, when people have fuck? If, if somebody admired you, maybe they'd ask you Jesus a question like that. But Christ. you've done nothing to earn that admiration. And I don't plan to, and I don't yeah, care to. I definitely, so, I definitely oh agree you will not. I definitely agree you sucking somebody off. He's so Jesus jealous. Christ. I mean, you know, get your... Uh, Christ, hello. Jealous? What am I jealous of? It's just sad. That's a great question. Hello. Dave, do you, Dave, do, you do that voice when describing, you know, a soldier on Normandy... Oh, no, I'm going to battle. Here I go. I'm going to go fight now. Go on. But I, have a, I have a serious question. Yeah. This is actually uh, Blind Mike's deodorant. Uh, hey, Mike. I know you? Mr. Mr. Geary isn't in today, mm -hmm. but I, I, I'm kind of building a, some peripheral profiles as well. And Kirk, you and Dave, if you don't mind me asking this question, I'd, sure. I'd love you to just get uh, to entertain me for a moment. Sure, Dave will go first. Or I will, whatever you want, yeah. Uh, thanks. Uh, I'm curious, uh, how often do you wash your bath towels? How often do I wash like my the towels I use in the shower? Yeah. I'm a, I told you, I, this is my, one of my, one of my extravagances. I get older. I'm a one and done guy. You're a one and done. That's right. You yeah. said that recently. I'm probably a two or three. Yeah. Two or three uses then wash. Correct. I just enjoy, I just am now at the point where I just enjoy a fresh, especially now with the winters here. I just don't like, a, I just don't need it. Yeah. I don't need it. Perfect. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. One or two. I more. mean, you're technically at your cleanest, right? So what, you're, after you're just, a shower? Yeah, you're, dry, you're just drying. There's nothing, you know, it's a clean towel. Basically. How long are you, how, so for you, I take two showers a day, basically. Yep. How long are you in the shower for? Uh, in the morning, I'm probably only in the shower for less than five minutes. Yeah. Night, it could be 12 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Trying to avoid your kids, huh? No, it's just you, you get it hot, then yeah. you get used to it, so you got to turn it up again. You're just enjoying it. In yeah. There. Just have yeah. a good time. Yeah. What's going on that brain of yours in that shower? <sighs> I think lately, it's been thinking about the case. Yeah. Clearly, it's rattling me, and I can't remember things. Clearly. Oh, wow. Obviously. Yeah. It's comforting. Yeah. So you probably fucking confessed to you or something. You probably forgot it. <laughs> right, man. Hello. That's why I exported all my Facebook data. <laughs> That's a good idea. Hello. Speaking of the case, a suggestion potentially for the case season three. Oh, I love those. Yeah, please. <laughs> I know you do. How about this absolute horseshit of a story with Bruce Springsteen going back to that? Kid That's song. totally true. Absolute, totally true. You've total, always, you've always, you've is. always hated him. It's a, it's a fucking true story. I do, but no, you hate him. He seems like a nice. He seems like a nice He's guy. A I don't guy. like his music, but I can put politics aside. Kirk, he claims his parent, the kid's parents. By the way, the kid's dead. Um, yeah, that's so true. nobody can corroborate this. Well, I mean, they've, they've done stories mm -hmm. over the claims. years on this. Over the years, they've done stories on it. But yeah. All right. So the movie ended at 11. It was this kid and his sister. Stardust they, they, Memories. Bruce yeah. went back. Yep. Supposedly, Bruce went back to the house. Mm -hmm. The parents, the father was laying on the couch reading the paper. Right. The mother was in the kitchen in her house dress. Okay. Bullshit. Number one. Number two, guess what kind of store the dad owned? And they didn't know who he was, by the way. Uh, I don't know. What, what kind of store? A music store. Okay. So? How does the dad not know who Bruce Springsteen is walking in his house? By the way, a stranger comes in my house. Hey, it's Bruce Springsteen. No, it's not. So I would accept that if they said, yeah, it is Bruce. But if they didn't believe it was Bruce, so it was okay for them to have a stranger in the house. I just don't. I just think Bruce Springsteen's gonna lie. It's just not gonna happen. It's not. It's no. Well, well, you know, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's, it, it is. It is got more holes than than Swiss cheese. This is total horseshit. I'm looking forward to you looking into this because only I you will uncover the truth. No, I, why don't you? Why don't you do some real investigations? We mentioned earlier. Why don't you look at that sex slave trader 
uh, from Burn Barrel Podcast. He's pimping his <laughs> wife out right now in different photographs. And, and I mean, that's, oh, that's that's the real. I mean, I, we are we are next. There will be seventy seven dicks in her mouth, mouth on oh. some. Well, it's true. I mean, I mean, I know Shattuck needs his ten dollars a hit, but I mean, good God, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's, he's losing a lot of weight, apparently. He's getting delirious, and I guess those drugs really do cost a lot. My good God. I mean, for Christ's sakes. I mean, she's a lovely woman. They have some dignity. She's been through enough. I saw I saw Twilio. He's a fucking hole in his kitchen. Do you see this, Dave? No. A hole in his kitchen roof, the fucking size of Justin. There you Three Justins. Yeah, it's enormous. Hmm. He has a 300-year-old uh, house. He's got four kids. Things falling apart. What started his whole, like, let me... Did his let wife me... out the other day, like, 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 fucking laying roof or something? Or... She was doing that? Yes. Mm -hmm. What started the whole yeah. taking pictures of his Comfort. wife and posting him and all that? Because like, he, he gets, like, nine likes from perverts. That's why. So as opposed to none for his normal stupid tweets. That's why. That's it. That's it. Right or no? And... Oh, totally. Yeah. And she's she great. We, 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 yeah, Alice, Alice of the roof is great. It rains that. in the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, she's fantastic. I feel bad for her. She is essentially, you know, I don't know. Uh, she's, she's, you know, how these women thought what they thought the the craft woman was like a living on the floor, you know, at the uh, massage parlor. Remember, like with a craft thing broken, it was like, like oh, a, she's a sex oh, slave. Right, like yes. a slave. This is yep. this is essentially her life right there. Yeah. She she was Shattuck met her. We're con confirmed, right? Met her when she was thirteen, right? Yes, a radio convention or Correct. whatever. Yep. So I mean, she's never had she's never had an adult life. This is very sad. <laughs> Just brainwashed. Yeah, we like Shattuck, but I mean, geez, it's it's very depressing. But yeah, yeah the Springsteen story is a hundred percent true. Very, I can verify that. Well, that's Bruce Lee's on. Dave, how do you not know that Peggy Lawton's headquarters in manufacturing is like? Ten doors down from your house. Tim has been, Tim has been it, there, by the way. Add it to the list. Tim has I been know. There. It's, it doesn't look like it's something that should be, a, you know, a factory no, or whatever. It's got that murder house out front, that yeah. yellow house. Oh, that, right. Yes, yeah, so I remember you yeah. saying that. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yes. Thanks for the call. Yes. I do remember that. Thanks, Tim. I do remember that. Hello. He did kind of look douchey uh, the other night on Fallon, though. Like great. when he performs he those, great. He's when he performs 73 those three years old, no, I think that, you. I don't know if it's that, that, like it's the album of singing other people's songs, like that type of song. He sounds like he's coming off better than, I don't know why Who he has a look. He does. He does. That look. It's like, he's this, just this working class. I fight for the little guy type vibe. But then all of a sudden he's suited up and he's singing like what almost sounds like his version of doo-wop or whatever, for Christ's sake. I don't know. He just, it feels different. It so feels dumb. snobbish. So it feels snobbish. snobbish. Yeah, it does. Snobbish. It does. It does. Talking about better oh than. Oh my god, he is better than. He is, but Jesus. better than what? Better than who? You? Be he's better than most people. Better than anybody? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it just yes. that's I don't know. You don't want to feel that way when you watch him. Well, you don't wanna, watch. You want to relate to him? You yeah. watching Jimmy I turned Fallon? it off for two seconds and I but live? No, no, I just saw the social media. Hello. Hello, it's Trent. Hey, Trent. Trent Casey, right, Dave? Yes. Yes. Hello, Trent. He's never Casey. Oh, yeah. Hey, Trent. Hello, Kirk. I just, first, I just want to say I miss you. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's very sweet. I haven't seen you in years, yeah. Oh, don't pretend, Kirky. We still keep in touch. Well, okay, well sure, yeah. But, right, yeah, I haven't seen you. And you. I, I understand what you're saying. Yes, go ahead. I want to say that I heard you had that fucking bitch, Alice Shattuck, oh, on your Trini, show. Don't be so jealous. This is not right. Dave, she, just, go ahead, Trini. And let me tell you, let me tell you <sighs> something, Kerr. Mm -hmm, yeah. If I find out uh -huh. that you've been licking her asshole, <laughs> oh, I, I will I, fucking I, kill that bitch. Well, I will hunt Trini, that bitch Trini. down in her <laughs> shitty house, and I will fucking bury her in the floor. I, Trini, I can promise you that did not occur. That I, I, I swear that did not Look, happen. I swear, I only went to email. Because you wouldn't lick no, my that ass is, that is not, Dave, anymore. No, that's not true, is it? I and heard, I and then you rumors. bring this slut on your <laughs> show. Trinity, good God. A fucking whore. I will fucking kill that bitch. I don't think you should be saying this. Trinity. So dead. All right, Trinity, thank you for calling. I Shattuck. am this the original. Fault. What's that? Shattuck's fault. He's crazy, the monster. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's a good way to end the calls. Okay. Um, for the record, I think that actually was Trinity. It sounded like her. Yeah, I think just it was, like her. I think actually. it was her. Yeah, I think it was her. Did you ever deal with Trini or no? I don't believe so. No, no. no. And she's still doing the dumb show. 
Yes. Yeah. So bang that fucking thing out, huh? Yeah. Well, good for her. It's Just before we went on air, I told you Michael Hallway with a big spot tomorrow morning. Oh, he's on with uh, Fred and Rich tomorrow, yep. right? Remind people he exists. Yep. Two hours with Hallway? Why would they want to have him on? I think we had this conversation on oh, the show. Oh, you fired or something? Like six months ago, we probably did this, but like, why is Felger doing that show with Michael Hallway? Nobody's talking about that fucking show. Felger loves the work, man. He loves that money. That's fucking nuts. It's just nuts. There's got to be something else you can do that would take less time to make the exact amount of money he makes from that show. Right? Oh, for sure. I'd imagine. But he actually, he has no social media presence. He has nothing nothing outside of radio or... No. Not, yeah. I used to watch him when we do it in Burlington. He would just kind of roll in and yep. leave. Yeah, that was like... What the fuck are you doing? Like, you see the show in the afternoon? You, I don't know. I mean, crazy. I can't imagine. The show gets no ratings. So, I mean, I don't care. Oh, whatever. Arbella or something sponsoring it. But there can't be that much money there for him per year. I wonder if, like, all these beat reporters that go on there, I wonder if somebody said something outlandish and just nobody caught it because nobody fucking watches it. Possible. You know? I mean, well, I mean, you had the Bowen thing. That one that, that before he got trolled. Yeah. Right? Mm. That was on there. Yeah. I think there's that. I think that was I on do, there because I do think there's that crowd though who got that who are always on the hunt for one of these beat guys to say something stupid. Yeah, that one went viral because of Dave, right? Though. Yeah, yeah, Dave but some, that. but but Dave saw it in response to somebody's somebody tweet. Else, yeah. I think it's yeah, right. That's but I do think there's always somebody hoping, God bless them, hoping that somebody says something dumb. Yep. Yep. But that's because it went on social media. If it didn't go on social media, like there's plenty of other shows that are on there where they could say something stupid. Right. If they don't get clipped by the producer, you nobody knows about it because nobody's fucking watching. Oh, it's it. weird. Like you never know. Like, yes. No, you know nobody's watching it for sure. But I remember when Gary and I had that fight about Aaron Hernandez. Yep. And Jimmy, it was actually on Jimmy Fallon's monologue that he did the joke about it for right. some reason. Right. Like right away that night, I remember I had like thirty tweets about it. Yeah. So, so like, maybe like a yelling, screaming man? I, I don't know. Mm. And you weren't really... No. I mean, people would go to see you. I think they would go but from no. the morning show. But they didn't promote you that night. It's not like people knew, nobody oh, had, Kirk's going to be on I would tonight. tweet out maybe. But yeah, yeah. But nobody... No, no, no. And I was... I just really started with John and Jerry. I mean, that was about Hernandez. He just yep. got uh, arrested. Because yep. Bel- uh, Gary was blaming Belichick for that, I think. Yep. Right? Or no? It sounds about right. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? I was yeah. thinking about Tangway the other day about tr- maybe having him on or trying to reach him. I was like, yeah. And I looked him up, and he's like, he does like these like stupid podcasts that nobody's listening to. Yeah, with Bob Ryan. Yeah, and another one where he's like talking about movies and it has like f- no reviews. I'm like, yeah. why don't you just come on here? But he's yeah. so gun shy. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know why. He, there's no yeah. career. And I yeah. mean, not, not in a bad way, but like it's not like he's, if he was still NBC, whatever, like great, but he's not, I don't think he's anywhere. Yeah. I know he's not. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Who knows? All right, so we have Mike tomorrow. Yep. Go get your Stella. What is it? Stella, what is it? Stella Blue. Stella Blue. Yep. Almost sounds like a beer, no? It does sound like a beer. I didn't know him and Dave had the same name of a dog. Like, I didn't know they shared that bond. Stella. I knew. Do you have Tango's number? Let me give it to you Only before. if you've sent it. I thought I have. Yes. Give him a call. I'll be just be curious if, if I'm right about the Hernandez thing. I think I'm pretty sure I am. You won't answer anyway. Hello? Gary Tangway. Yes. Yes. This is Kirk Minahan. Oh God. God, you changed your number. No, we're live on. You're live on the Kirk Minahan show. No, I'm not. What's wrong with that? I don't understand what your hesitancy is for this. Look, I'm just I'm a, I'm a private citizen now. <laughs> oh God, forgot. Just ask him the question. He's uncomfortable. Ask him the question. So yeah, so we we're talking about the uh, that you and I had that fight about Hernandez that time. I don't, Kirk. I'm really not into this. At all. Know. What is your I, Gary? What is your uh, legitimate issue? Like I don't even understand. Like it's a po- like you do these stupid podcasts about movies and like this podcast is like wait like what's your what's your like opposition to it? I just out of curiosity. I, it's fine if you're opposed to it, but what is I'm it? I'm just laying low. I'm just talking about movies. I'm just laying low. But we can that's do. All. We could also do that. Like I mean, if you don't want to, of course that's fine. Right. No, I know. Well, listen. I got to grab my car. Call me off the air. I, I think I'm good. All right, I'll stop talking. Bye.
don't even understand. Do you? He just it. He just. See what I'm saying like he's terrible. He thinks the Kirk Minahan brand is toxic. I hate people like that, and yeah. I like Gary. But I fucking yeah. hate people like that. Yeah. Like I don't even get like. You didn't even. I mean, you were asking a very basic, normal question. You were planning to. No, I mean, I would definitely get in other stuff if yeah. he was. I mean, if he was obviously, it's not going to happen. But yeah. like, I don't get his. It's just weird. I love Gary. I, it's just it's a, it's a very strange. I don't know what he's. I don't know. Who knows anyway? But he, great, good guy, good guy. I would never root against Gary. Yep. Um, all right, so we're back uh, with Mike tomorrow. Uh, He's got a guest this week. We have a guest this week, yep, for Friday's show, potentially. Mm-hmm. Put, I think Friday's show. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think it'll be a good crowd for the, the, the Cheeky Monkey? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, yeah. It's tough. It's a work day. It's tough, though. Yeah, but I think people will make their way there. Yeah, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be just a fun day event overall. I think people see those videos of those shows. It looks like a great crowd. So yeah, you know, those reporters completely uh, back down this basketball challenge. Totally, totally back down now. Well, yeah, I mean, I yeah. said it and nothing in response. We'll yeah. be in Boston. Let's fucking do it that day. Yep, I'm down for that. Scout out locations just in case. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, was, we're bought. I mean, how hard is that? No, it can't be that hard. Do it the garden probably. I mean, it's a little bit of a drive. I think we could do it closer to Fenway. We're going to be in Boston Fenway that area. day. Oh, you don't think? Yeah. Oh, we can, we can get a little closer, I think. I suppose. Yeah. A court's a court. Why does it matter if it's a garden, right? I kind of like the idea. Well, wherever. Well, indoors is my, is my You kind of like the idea of playing it at the well, TD Garden. I, well, just yeah. the, I want to do it indoors because it's going to be fucking eight degrees probably that day. Yeah. Anyway, we're back. One on one is stupid. Uh, What's that? I'm going to stand by that. One on one is so fucking stupid. So dumb. I disagree with that. If it's, it's played d- right, as long as it's played right, there's no such thing as playing one on one right. That's not true. When I was playing in high school, and I, we had a drill. I played my buddy Brian Keefe, who's assistant coach now of the Nets. Three dribble, one on one, maximum three dribble. That way, you learn how to create the shot, you learn how to go to the basket. Not this boom, back, okay. back, back. That's, three that's, dribble. That's not horrible. I still hate it, but it's created not by horrible. the great Bob Bigelow, who sadly passed away a couple of years ago from uh, playing the NBA, lived in Winchester. Great guy, taught everyone in town basically how to play basketball. But that was his drill: mm-hmm. three dribble, one on one. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. That's I, a, but that's literally how you that's how you create that's how you learn to create a shot. Yeah. Yep. Like the twenty six row to go around or or the big fat guy backs you up and fakes and fakes. That's Fuck. not basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Three dribbles, but 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 what's Portnoy gonna do? He's five four. He doesn't look like he can dribble too. No. Too well. yeah. No. Yeah. No, he's not. Yeah, no, no, no. Certainly not. But look, whatever. I I'm down for it. It actually um, probably is a better it's better for him anyway, I would think. Right? What's that? He, he doesn't really have a shot. So like if you did horse or something like that, I mean, uh, horse form is, I hate horse. I've yeah. never been a big fan of it, but yeah. anyway. Yeah. All right. All right. Mike's here tomorrow. Bye.